Moving on to the next question. Uh, how many hours of ABA a week should my high-functioning uh, teenager, I believe is what, what it was before, get? But I, we don't have that on the page, so I don't know. Just high-functioning child with autism get? Well, love this question. It's, so you really want to focus on, well, what we do here at CARD, let, let's do that, is an individualized treatment plan. So it's so important to, to participate in your intake. That would give us, as your clinicians, the opportunity to look at where are those areas of need. So I wish I can tell you an exact number for, for your teenager, but without really looking at about what he or she needs, that number is, is really going to fluctuate, right? So we would, based on that intake, we would be able to identify, like, what, what are your priorities? What is it that, you know, you're seeing at home and what, what is happening at school? Um, what are hap what's happening with peers? So we would take all of that information and, and develop a, a very individualized treatment plan for your, for your teenager, um, and create, and that would really drive the recommendation that we would provide you. So as much as I could, you know, wish I could give you an exact number, um, it, it would really be tailored to your to your individual teenager, and that's really going to come from a, a thorough intake evaluation with him or her. Yeah, because it's we wish that it was one size fits all, but it's not. So it's wonderful, not. wonderful advice. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.